Hello and welcome back to my channel and this is now episode 7 of this survival world which I should probably give a name to because then I don't have to keep awkwardly introducing the videos every time but anyway as you can see I have been making progress on both the farms and also trying to find enough diamonds so we do have diamond tools but I'm only halfway there on the diamond armor and also enchanting the diamond armor because I did die and lose all my levels a couple of times by scary cave spiders um, but anyway I have also been doing a lot of mining trying to find the diamonds so I thought I would show you what I've kind of collected so far um, and then that will also lead me on to the plans for this video so this is the sort of collection over the last couple of days and um, got loads of redstone loads of iron most importantly almost is the rails because what I want to do is go to one of the villages that is around here there's a desert one over there somewhere but there's a closer one over there and what I'm going to be doing with them is stealing a couple of villagers I'll bring them back here hopefully on the mine rails just so it's a bit easier and we'll try and get some mending books and we can repair some of the tools that I've been using but before I do that I do want to do another building episode so what I'm going to be starting on is the dock um, and I'm going to also join up the river we'll make a cute little fishing spot as well and the first things first is moving these stairs because they need to move back so that we can actually get a nice path through here so I'll just be readjusting that and it will all move over to down this side so let's just get started as you will be able to see, I moved the staircase over. Um, it's a little bit better to navigate around here now. So it was right over here. And then when I've moved that, it meant I had enough space for the bridge that is also now built. What I need to do now is build the little dock and the fishing spot. So I need to figure out exactly where I want it. And I thought that might be quite a cute place for the dock. I need to make a boat and I need to check if I can actually fit, don't have any wood, if I can actually fit under this bridge um, then I would be able to go either way um, down the river. I really need to learn how to navigate a boat. Oh perfect you can fit underneath. Oh wow, I really need to make this wider. <laughs> this is horrible. So I need to sort that out as well. So I can go and follow the river round. Ah, okay, so that's quite good. It'll take me to the village. Oh! Have I been there? I don't think I've been there yet. Okay, so under the bridge again. <laughs> that was smooth sailing. And then let's have a little look out this way as well. Okay, so nothing really around here. So what I'll also need to do is replant my sugar cane. Probably just still again somewhere along here. Maybe a bit of a smaller one now that I've got quite a lot of it. And I did wonder if I should have another bit of this staircase that just comes straight down. So that way I can go to the farms. And then I can just have one coming down to the dock. I think I'll probably add on to the staircase then. Alright, let's get on with it. So, something I've just remembered is I discovered that zombies and creepers can now climb ladders, which I'm pretty sure they never used to be able to do. Because I accidentally left open this little bit down here where I've got the cave because I was in the cave and I'd left open that whole bit so I, I came down here for some stone or something and there was just two creepers and a zombie and one creeper blew up this whole bit while I was trying to get out <laughs> and then the other one followed me up here and then I think it was about here when it blew up so it blew up this whole corner of the house so I had to re redo all of that which was very annoying so that's a development that's an update that I didn't know about Anyway, on with the building. It's only going to be like a really tiny dock. I just need to build like a tiny sort of shelter that goes like that around. Somewhere to set off from. Okay. 
what I'm going to do is just move it one out and then I think when you come down the steps it means it won't have to be quite that high because I think it looks a little bit looks a little bit weird at the moment so I'll do that and just see what there's just an army of them I threw my sword! Oh no! Why did I do that? I panicked. Oh no. How am I going to get it? Wait! Ah! <laughs> they can't actually get me normally while I'm inside, but I need to get that. Quick! I cannot actually tell you how terrifying that little run back to my house is after it's seen me. Oh! <sighs> And that is the single way, other than one enderman in a cave that I killed, that I managed to get all of these enderpals. <laughs> so I'm pretty proud of that. I finally figured it out. So what I've done is just pushed it back a little bit into the water because I was starting it from right here. So now when you come down, you don't sort of bump your head or anything and just use some proper oak logs instead of oak planks just for where the fencing is and we've got a little docking station doesn't really need to be that big it's quite cute so when we come back we can carry on into that direction or we can just come oh 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 why please don't hurt i really like how this is just sort of built all around this huge tree as well. I'm going to try and keep that there. So now that the dock's done, I want to find somewhere that I can use just for a nice little fishing spot. And what I really wanted to do is have it elevated, which is why I thought I might do like some sort of platform from somewhere. So I thought I would also mention the fishing point that I'm making is mostly aesthetic. I will try and make some sort of um, like AFK fishing farm just because it's going to be a bit too time consuming to get things actually fishing. <laughs> but I wanted a nice little spot that looked cute in the meantime. Now that the fishing spot I think is finished, I just need to replace the rest of the dirt with sand get rid of that little bit of stone block and then we'll make a fishing rod and do a little bit of fishing to see if we find anything interesting. Since we have our fishing rod and 30 levels I think I will see if we can get anything good enchantment wise. Okay we're just gonna go with this one so at least we've got something and we'll do a little bit of fishing. Wow, a bowl. This is so worth it. <gasps> what is it? A fishing rod. Look at the sea. Oh, that's not bad. Why is this kind of addictive? Well, fishing rod is no more. I think that'll do for now. That was about 15 minutes of real time <laughs> fishing and we've got not a great deal of stuff. Quite a few cod. Loads more cod than salmon for some reason. Done all the sort of building I think I wanted to do. What I want to also do, I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the episode, but it was to get the mending book from a villager. But I think that will mean transporting the village over. And now I know that there is a village over there that I can get to via the dock and the boat. I think I'll just try and bring one back. But I will need a lectern and I will also need... What are you doing? I'll also need somewhere for it to actually live and I will probably build that before I bring it over. 
and it is morning so it's time to go and find my first villager and I'll go I think in that direction to the desert village and there was a temple there so I'll probably check that out while I'm there as well all right we'll go for you come back <laughs> okay perfect let's head on out and see if we can get you to be a librarian oh oh no <laughs> no almost I come back <sighs> so I thought I would take this time to provide a sort of narration for the events that followed in the next few hours of my gameplay Upon obviously getting the villager and getting it all set up, I thought maybe he needs to be lowered down and I can swap out the lectern more easily, but I am dumb, so I do this, and obviously he's going to fall through the hole, because I can't place blocks fast enough apparently. So that happens, I do get him back inside, back where he needs to be inside the fence, just for that to happen, because apparently if you're inside fencing, it's not enough and he has to die because he has annoyed me. And then villager number two, we do get in, again, doesn't want to be in the fencing, understandable, but we do get inside and he has decided he really wants to be a librarian as you can already see. So again, because I'm dumb and I have short term memory loss apparently, I make another hole in the ground and then back inside, I've changed the design slightly this one can walk through fences as well as, you know, not staying inside fences like they're supposed to do. Anyway, this is villager number two, back inside again for the second, third time. I don't even know, I've lost count at this stage. This could even be villager number three. Anyway, in a panic because he's trying to escape again, I hit him. And then obviously he doesn't want to trade with me, so he has to die. So onto the next village trying to mix it up a little bit it's deserted and this is when i discover that that's because the raid there was a defeat and not a success or whatever so villager number three back from the desert village again we're eventually getting sort of trades um, and i know that it depends on time of day so we you can see here he's switching between librarian and not librarian but it, this design is bad and this is my fault I get annoyed and I can't place the lectern so that happens I severely regret it straight away obviously um, he's in a panic he doesn't want anything he doesn't want to hear anything I have to say he doesn't even want bread villagers love bread doesn't want any of it not having it so then I have to deal with this okay because for some reason raids are constant in this game anyway I deal with it pretty well but villager three has to die as well and then on my search for villager number four there's an actual raid okay and i i even hit a villager by accident that's not even my victim while i'm trying to get this villager and then the ravager kills me i lose like 30 levels i'm fuming i go back get my stuff actually survive and then I'm like, okay, this other villager, so that must have actually been villager number five that I was getting, because this villager that escaped, I just ignored. I go back, I'm like, I haven't hit him, he doesn't hate me, let's just try again. We get him in the boat, in the pen, and then mending. Yes! So, but oh, actually, it's 20 emeralds, I only have 10. Okay, we go to another different village. I trade plenty, I get loads of emeralds, end up with 40 odd emeralds, come back, hang on a second, that's supposed to be mending, what's going on, and it's like reset, and I didn't realise that that happened, so again, I'm just so annoyed just having to start again, having to deal with yet another invasion, and then another raid at my village, where they kill the villager that I've been working so hard on 
The only way I can kill this Ravager is by dropping lava on its head, because I've got no arrows, and it kills me as soon as I get close to it. So, then, just to add insult to injury, this creeper decides to just blow up my stairs. And so, eventually, I kill the last pillager, but I'm annoyed, and I go to bed. And that's it for the day. So, I'm just digging some gravel, minding my own business, trying to make some more arrows, to fight off the pillagers. And look who it is. Unbelievable. The plan now, since I need another villager, is to go back to the one I was trading the emeralds at, which I know is in that direction. What I'm gonna probably have to do is build the mine cart tracks over in that direction and I'm fairly sure I'm not gonna have enough um, even though I have over two stacks. Um, I'm just probably going to first travel over in that direction and see if I can actually work out the blocks and then I might be able to make some more tracks because I do have loads of iron so that's what I'm going to do now while I have the daylight we have our iron smelting and that is gonna be used for the extra rail tracks because this is roughly where I need to be if I just want to build in a straight line going to the other village and I'm gonna need about 600 and I have about well I've got at least 120 I know that so we're gonna have to make a lot more but I could probably just set it up roughly here it's not too far from my base it doesn't have to be something that's right near my house either I'll need to build the the little home for it first and it's going to be completely safe from pillagers, mobs, everyone. <laughs> Yes! I did it! <sighs> oh no, you're joking. <sighs> no! <laughs> right. We'll give it some time, let him forget, and then see if it's gonna work. Please don't look at me like that. <laughs> We'll leave him in there for now. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. <laughs> oh, that's really sad. <laughs> that has no purpose now. May as well get rid of all this. It's just sad looking at it. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? You didn't see what happened here. None of it was my fault. Can you leave my sand alone? Okay, so that actually means the previous deaths were for nothing. <laughs> and now we just keep trying. <gasps> I almost hit him. Eventually. Yes, finally. Okay, 30 emeralds, that's fine. I'm gonna need some more, but I have the mending book. It was all worth it. Thank you, Mr. Librarian. I'm going to leave now. You read through your books. And I'll be back. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with myself after all that. We have the book. 
and then it's just gonna hopefully get easier from here so I don't quite have enough levels to actually do any more enchantments um, I'm gonna have to think about what I want to put this on but that's gonna be everything for today it has been exhausting it's been such an ordeal but we got it so it was it was all alright in the end um, thank you very much for watching anyway and see you in the next video bye